like to yawn. Force of habit, I suppose, since I don't sleep anymore. Although, it's far more confounding that I'm the tired one. I've seen you stay awake for days at a time without so much as a drooping eyelid. Not even a nap. Gods do not nap. Oh, tell that to Thor. <laughs> what is that? A phantom! Rogue magic! Aim for the runic core! What the hell? Look at that thing! Well done! Just a few more strikes! 
to Fimble Winter, I suppose. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. your favorite of Gavassia's poems, brother. Why would I choose a favorite? Light elf statue in the desert. Ah. Aye. Herbert, this is the sanctum Big Veer spoke of in Van Eyne.
I was curious about some of the flora we've encountered on our travels. And you will remain curious. It's not my job to teach you everything, Mimir. Look, I was just asking. And you have been told. You say that again. Back to your brother learning to realm travel. You said he fell in love with his teacher. Yes, Gerd. Someone he could wander with as never before. So, wander they did, exploring the world tree from root to branch. But one day, it came time for Gerd to wander away. Freya was heartbroken, and resolved himself to perform some great feat to win her back. He set his aim on the grandest of gestures. He intended to be the first to find the elusive source of Bifrost light. And he succeeded, although quite by accident. Freyer believed he navigated best while fortified by a potent blend of Vanir herbs. When he wandered, he wandered. And he managed to wander from the World Tree directly into the Lake of Souls. The elves have never seen anybody come out of the lake before, so it got some attention. Oh, that is bloody hilarious. I don't know whether he worked his charms at that point or they just assumed him to be a great deity. But of course, he hadn't made this journey in search of responsibility, so he didn't stick around long. Still, the legend of his manifestation was passed along through the ages. It even endured after the Great Division, remembered by Light and Dark Elf alike. So when at last he returned, he was uniquely situated to gain the trust of both sides and help to create a truce. The problem was, both sides trusted only him. So the peace could only last as long as he stayed around to keep it. And with the long war dragging on without an end in sight, I suppose making any kind of peace was an irresistible notion for him, even if it meant having to rule. <laughs> That's the beauty of a locked door. It could be anything. Monsters, treasure. No, in our luck, 
It'll be a better boy. A token. A badge of honor. The elves made a few of these. They'd hang them up outside their dwellings. Show their support for my brother. Kratos, tell me of an adversary from your homeland. It will serve us well if I understand more of your battle tactics. There was Medusa, queen of the Gorgons. Her gaze turned men to stone. A mirror would turn her own powers against her. Or, you may remove her head, but that is the hard way. Which did you choose? The hard way. Forget I asked. Bugs you've hunted. I wonder if it might A be worth this. Statue of my brother. How quaint. That's odd. The runes are dark. What purpose does all this serve, other than a testament to my brother's vanity? Difficult to say without an inscription. But it looks like the elves built this place together, light and dark. Which means this would have been their first act of cooperation in generations. A far cry from lasting peace, but perhaps it served as a monument. One that symbolizes the potential for peace. That you may have survived Freya's absence, but a truce clearly did not. My 
monuments are useless to those who ignore their message. He didn't create a truce through diplomacy alone. His godhood, his very presence is what healed this land and allowed peace to take root. But once he left, he had to have known what would happen. Well, he had good reason to leave. Some jackass convinced his sister to marry a madman. Nothing reminds people of their history like chiseled, well-lit marble. You're right. Normally we'd have to provide our own. Perhaps slotting a crystal on the opposite side could shed some light on this mystery. Uh. Crystal shards glow. Looks like we can read the inscription now as well.
in honor of the Enlightened One. May his gift of light shine eternal. Ah, gift of light. The light from the crystals. It is in the sand now. Would you look at that? Freer's gift endures after all. Or should I say, his presence? You are not funny. Perhaps the Elves will find peace again one day, even without Freyr's guidance. His presence continues to guide them, whether they realize it or not. 